everyone, and welcome back to Digimon Survive. Sorry for yet another delay. I promise someday I will find a groove again. But I think, I think I have fixed all of the, uh, like, glitching issues. Um, like the weird pixelization and blurriness that was happening whenever there was motion on the screen. Apparently that's a common issue with OBS when your settings are really not up to par. I, th from the tests, it looks pretty good. So hopefully it actually looks good this time. I, I apologize for the quality of last episode. This one should hopefully be better. I'm, I'm knocking on wood. Last time, I believe we finished the prologue, but I'm not entirely sure about that because I have, I have had to load up and just click through like two lines of dialogue of what happens next to test everything. And it seems like maybe we're still in the prologue. So I don't know. <laughs> this might be prologue part two. I don't know. I'm still incredibly blind to this experience. But yeah, let's load it up and continue our adventure. I'm very, very excited to get back to this. I've been so busy. And while I've been busy, I've just been thinking about these fucking kids already. Can you believe it? Ugh. Doing okay, buddy? Those Gatsumon really took a number on us, it seems. Ow. Am I safe? Okay, so <laughs> I've been to quite a few concerts just in the last two weeks. Like, a lot. So hopefully it lends itself to all the male voices I have to do for this series. <laughs> Am I below the shrine? It looks like I got caught in a landslide or something. Oh, hey. Everyone! Is everyone okay? God, I hope so. If I've killed someone this early, I don't know what I'll do. I can't see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around? Before we do anything, I realized that I didn't ever look at what was actually happening with my friendships and my morals and everything. Like, I kept getting the, the updates or whatever, right? But I didn't realize that I could open the menu already when that was happening. So, so much for keeping my eyes glued to it at all times. I've already fucked that up royally. But yeah, let's look at everything here. Already, I am not shocked at all that the only affinity I have is with Aoi because that is the only, <laughs> the only person we've ever gotten any affection with, um, which is quite a shame because so far she's, well, I don't want to say she's low on my list of the characters that I like right now because, like, I like them all, but there's a couple kids here that are some pretty strong contenders for being brain parasites. Like, she's gonna be living in my brain, but she... she's going to be paying rent. Oh my god, it's literally just hitting me now. There's a possibility maybe that I could kill only one of the Shinome siblings. And now I'm... Okay, we're just gonna look at what we have here, because I can't think about that. I like that the email and phone number is there, but it's blurred out. Like, why did you have to do that? His blood type is A. I know blood types are a big personality factor, um, but I don't actually know them, so maybe I'll look into that at some point. Oh, they have reasons for joining why they joined the camp. The mountain air will do you good, claimed Takuma's mom, leading him to join the camping trip. The boy knew well that he'd be doing something significant by studying history in a place far from the city, but in all honesty, he lacked any real motivation to do so. This was his attitude, for better or worse. He lacked any strong feelings about the task, not caring enough to even consider it a pain. <laughs> Just get through a few days of the program and I'll be back to my old life. With this mentality, Takuma headed for the camp. That sounds like a protagonist to me just kind of a nothing guy with no real opinions except for the ones that i hold he is my little play-doh to mold okay kaito oh it has like stats team up attacks encouragement supports does that mean if the bar is all the way up does that mean that they are willing to help me do those go down i don't know there's still so little i don't understand which is another reason why i'm like i feel like we're probably still in the prologue also 14 he's got b blood type Kaito was already at a loss over his sister Miu and her frequent goofy behavior. At the same time, he was constantly worried for her safety. Just today, Miu vanished when his back was turned for the briefest of moments. Could she be caught up in some trouble and hurt somewhere? Is some bad guy doing something terrible to her? He was searching high and low, clinging to those worries when he met Takuma's group for the first time. Okay, that's sort of nothing. We, like, that's literally just what we know. I mean, he's not part of the camping trip like he lives here, so... Anyway. 
Aoi's also got an A blood type. All right, and she's a year older, she's 15. Aoi never had much interest in the camp in the first place. At the time, an interview with a certain author had caught her attention. My time camping as a student was a valuable experience that led to me becoming an author. Inspired by that article, she became gung-ho about camp, seeing it as an opportunity to change herself. Oh my god, that's so cute. I've gotta say, already loving the neurodivergent energy that we're getting from both Miu and Aoi. Don't think I didn't notice. All right, Minoru, you little scamp. B blood type. I guess it's just the characters with the B blood type that speak to me. I don't know what that means. Ever since news came of the camp, Minoru waited with bated breath, out in nature, away from our daily lives, facing untold dangers. And Minoru would take care of the problems in a flash, one after another. He saw a chance to become one of the superheroes he's adored since he was a kid. Oh, that's kind of precious. That's That actually gives me a little bit of insight into who he is as a person more too. All right, Shuji, 16, blood type A, what's your deal? We kind of know the least about him. Wanting more real world experience before applying to college and to get serious about studying, Shuji decided to apply to the camp. He was hoping to earn some brownie points towards a recommendation letter on the sly if this camp could help him achieve that his dad would see him in a better light sounds like a complicated relationship oh no uh oh so it turns out we will be relating to him a lot i'm actually i'm quite a big fan of rio already the, the more i think about him the more he grows on me he's 15 he's got an ab blood type and his reason for joining is he didn't tell any classmates he'd applied for the camp no one figured a lone wolf like him would join something like that where group activities were unavoidable the reason was an entry in an old journal of his mom's he'd found. I hope one day Ryo gets to summer camp and make lifelong friends like I did. Oh no, and a dead mom too! Oh no, these kids have trauma. I don't know what I expected. Of course they do. That's the all Digimon kids are traumatized. I like that I'm learning their last names too. Like Kimishima is a really cute last name. I like that a lot. She's 12? There's no way that's true. That's a mistake. She's also got an AB blood type. As soon as she heard about the camp, Saki quickly decided to join in, a so-called spur-of-the-moment decision. But an ulterior motive hid behind the girl's smile, making a lifetime's worth of memories. In truth, this might be her last chance, as far as she knew. Toward that end, she'd be as bright, bubbly, and unbounded as always, hiding the doubt swirling around inside of her. What the fuck? does that mean? Is she dying? Is she ill? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Should I be reading this? <laughs> I feel like I'm spoiling myself. Oh no, it's too late now. Miu is 11. She's got the same blood type as her brother and from the bottom of her heart, Miu was fed up with her brother Kaito. Her brother admonishing her every action. Her brother, the annoying overbearing pain. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. She fled the house again today to escape his gaze, and that would be the catalyst that led her to Saki's group. Today's going to be a fun one, I can tell, Mew thought. I mean, I'm sure in some way we can find the definition of fun here. All right, the professor. Before I read this, I want to say, someone I know left a comment saying that they already have a lot of theories about this guy, about the professor. And I do want to say, since editing it, I also have a bunch of theories of what this guy's deal could possibly be now that I've watched everything back and I've had time to think about it. So I actually have a thing about being wrong and embarrassing myself for being wrong, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the plunge. I've been editing my Ace Attorney footage again and I did a very good job with my theories in that one. So one of my theories is that he's related in some way to those two kids at the beginning that may or may not be dead. And it's possible that he's here and he has so many like opinions about shit, like really weird opinions is because he's trying to figure out what happened to them, maybe? or knows what happened to them and is trying to like, I don't really know. I, I feel like there's a possibility that he could be connected to those two kids in some way, either as like a grandparent or a parent or possibly even like another sibling. Cause we don't know, we don't know how much time has passed since that incident happened. It could have been a good couple years. There could be some time skip stuff going on and it could have just led us to think that that stuff with them was related to all the landslides that are happening in this time because of how it's set up, because of how it plays out. But it's possible that it happened way before any of these landslides were happening, or maybe possibly he is Haru, which I, wouldn't make sense because we saw the boy 
with the girl in that cutscene, right? So yeah, that's the, that's the first theory is that he's connected to the kids in some way. And then the second one being, um, maybe he's the main villain, right? It's entirely possible that when these kids die, they will be dying at the hands of the Digimon. But when they start getting killed, I, I'm gonna be suspicious of this man. He definitely knows way more than he's letting on, that's for sure. You don't just know how to read Digimon language. You know, like, that, that shit took Izzy a minute to crack. <laughs> Please let me know um, what your theories are, uh, because I'm very, I'm very curious. I would not consider it a spoiler, because I'm, I'm going to be hating on and not trusting this man anyway. Let me actually read his profile, because I haven't been looking at it this whole time. So, what I'm about to read might just totally disqualify what I've just said. Several years had passed since his last investigation of this land. Mmm, okay. The professor had dedicated his entire career to researching this topic, traveling the country in pursuit of it. Everything had started here. He had arrived back at his starting point by a circuitous path. Indeed, he believed that surely a new discovery would present itself if he investigated this place once again. In the end, his conviction would prove to be right on the money. I feel like that lends itself to my first theory. Maybe I'm delusional. Anyway, I've already taken up too much time. This also shows me that I think there's gonna be way, 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 way more choices than I'm even anticipating in this because look at how small of an effect that five choices has had on like the spread. Like those five choices that we've made have done like nothing. So we're gonna have, I believe quite a few opportunities to, to change things. So that makes me hopeful. Hopefully we can right some of these wrongs that I've already done. <laughs> they are not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. That's good. Oh, oh! I can hear those sounds from before. Is it those stone monsters? I would bet on that, yes. Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get the hell out of here. I don't like that we're separated already. <sighs> okay, I don't think they're following me. I made it back to the shrine somehow. Hey! Minoru! Aoi? Oh god. Is anybody here? No responses. Where the heck did they? Oh! Maybe I can get one of them on the phone! I'll call Minoru. I, d I mean, Shuji didn't get any service, so I don't think you will either, yeah. Come on, Takuma, don't you see? I expect you to know information that's been said only once when you do not have the privilege that I have had to watch the footage over and over and over again to know exactly things that people have said in the past. Get a grip. <laughs> the sounds are so weird in this game. I really like it. I'm not normally affected by sound design as much in, in games and movies and stuff. So when there's like a really like weird sound effect that's like kind of uncanny valley, I feel like that's the stuff that works best for me. What? Did something move just now? Oh my god, it's gonna be his Agumon, isn't it? Oh, I hope so. I hope that we get a partner. Oh man, something's in here. Is it that rock monster again? What should I do about that rock thing? I feel like being careful will help in most situations. I'll try moving closer. I'll do my best not to set this thing off. Huh? It's gone? Where in the world? Hey, some of the grass is moving over there. Hmm. This reminds me of the last time. All right then, what to do? Um, I don't know what last time he's talking about. This translation is a little iffy. It's it's not as bad as others I have seen, but definitely not the best. Definitely a little bit confusing. At least it won't be on me 100% if I fuck up and kill someone. I can just blame it on the script and I feel like that will be valid. <laughs> okay, so these ones have colors. Now that I know what the colors are, I know that the go right on up to it is wrathful. The exact definition of wrathful doesn't really match that, but I think that it's like a general term for like, maybe don't choose this one unless you want to be a dick. This one is the harmony and this one is the morals. I kind of want to choose this one just because I'm curious as to what exactly he's referring to. Like I kind of want to get clarification on what his thought process is because I'm a little bit confused. Now that I think about it, I remember Minoru saying something back then. Something about picking up weird stuff with his... Hmm. Oh, he's talking about the camera. Okay, okay, so we're gonna see if there's any glitches. Got it. Yay, we get the cool phone mechanic again. <gasps> it is! Oh my gosh, it's his camera! 
on! It says Coromon, it says Coromon, oh my gosh, partner time, baby! I'm just really excited to meet the partners, okay? <laughs> this is the one way that Digimon is superior to Pokemon in that the partners actually fucking talk to you and shit. And I can't wait for that. Oh, it's so cute! Hi! What, what the heck is that? Some kind of creature? Yes, everyone embrace the creature energy. Doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. Oh, oh, goodbye. I'll survey other spots with my camera. What about here? Oh, he's back. Hello. I love the eyeliner. I found it. That thing from before. It's right over there, no doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but still. <laughs> Man, did it vanish again? This thing's quick on its feet. At least I think it has feet. It sure doesn't. I don't know why you thought that it did. Bingo. There it is. Whoa! It's closer now. <laughs> ah! What is this thing? Hey, that's my one. Wait, you're... It talks? Hang on, wait, 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 no, I need to- I need to be mimicking the Koromon voice from the show better. Shoo! Back off, dang it! I've never seen anything like this before. What the heck is it? Seriously, what's this thing's deal? I'm not a thing. I'm Koromon! Oh god, this was- All of my high range is like really gone right now. I've been waiting for you, buddy old pal. Coromon? <laughs> it's so much like one time it's Coromon. <laughs> oh, new music! Happy music. Oh, thank God. We were in the danger zone for so long. It feels so nice. Sorry, but that pal talk rubs me the wrong way. The name's Takuma, okay? Anyway, just back off for a sec, will you? Takuma, that's your name? Nice to meet you, Takuma. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> no, more importantly, what do you mean you were waiting for me? Ah, uh, the nostalgia. Yeah, for ages. Like, such a long time, pal. Why? How? Well, that's easy. You see, uh, uh... Hey, why was I waiting? <laughs> What's with this thing? It understands me, but I wouldn't call this a conversation. Yeah, I feel that way about most of the dialogue in this game as well. At any rate, I see you're not human. That's what I am. A human. And a young one at that. A young human? A young human? <coughs> oh god, this is so bad. A young human? I've never seen one before. You're kind of weird looking, aren't you? Still, I'm glad I got to meet you. Mm hmm I've been craving something, you see? I've been waiting forever and ever! Craving? What do you mean? Listen up, uh... Karaman, was it? Stop treating me like some kid, alright? I'm already in junior high! Five seconds ago, he was like, and a young one at that. What's a junior high? Well, uh... It basically means I'm an adult. Huh. Adults are smaller than I figured. Uh, anyway, my point is, I'm not a kid. Why not? You seem pretty childish to me. Why else would you get upset over every little thing? Oh my god. I already like your partner more than you, Takuma. I love that Digimon talk basically just like how kids do. They always go for the, the jugular, very innocently. Shut up! I've had enough. Back off already. Wait, Takuma! I've gotta shake off this weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. It's just gonna follow you. That's your friend. <laughs> okay, I think I finally lost it. Still, what the heck was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. But the really weird thing is... I wasn't all that scared of it. I mean, 
It was so small. And it talked like a kid. See, exactly! Plus, it was so buddy-buddy. Look at his face. He's shifting into baby mode. What the? Something is moving in the grass. Oh no! Holy, it's that rock monster that attacked us before? Oh god, they're all coming back. Ah! Jump scared by a pile of stones. I'm also a little bit worried that it might actually be a Meteormon and not a Gatsumon. Um, which for those of you who don't know, uh, some, some Digimon are just recolors of other Digimon. So they have different names and different levels. Um, but look basically the same, um, especially when they're all blacked out like that. So they could actually be like an ultimate level Digimon and that would be way worse. <laughs> the coloring looks like a Gatsumon to me. Uh, Meteormons are a little bit more like on the turquoise seafoam green side. They're a lot lighter. So I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure this is a rookie. If you're confused about the leveling, I'm sure we'll go into that once we get back into battles again. So I'll, I'll wait to explain for those who are not Digimon fanatics like me until then. We'll, we'll get to it if you're confused. I can't believe one was here. Damn, I can't get away. It's too close. <laughs> oh, do we finally get to battle again? Yay! Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into the battles. Oh my god, look at him! <laughs> He's so Oh my god, I love the art style so much. I love the art style so much. I know I've already said that 65,000 times, but look at him. <laughs> yeah, that's a Gatsumon for sure. That's a Gatsumon for sure. Um, well, let's run away because we need Koromon. Doesn't look all that fast. Okay, if I can just bolt. Ugh! It jumped at me again! Oh, look at his expression! Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that was a mistake. Ouch! What the heck, man? <laughs> Son of a... It looks like it's gonna charge again. Run! Yay! Is that... Coromon? This thing's got an axe to grind with you. Hurry up and get out of here! Oh, jeez. My legs are... I'll try to hold it off so you can get away. Here I go! Oh, What a brave little guy. <laughs> Come on, let him live. He's trying his best, he's in training. Boy, you're weak. Like, super weak. You're the one that should be running. But I've got to protect you, Takuma. Ugh. Ugh. It's no use. Oh man, this is bad. Koromon will be in trouble if this keeps up. I can't believe that tiny little thing is risking its life to protect me. I know. I can't just run off on my own and let it fight to the death. But what... What should I do? Uh... Uh... I guess I'll yell to distract... It's talking about the Gatsumon, right? To distract the Gatsumon? Because I don't want to... I don't want to get hit more. I'm a little concerned about Takuma's well-being. Hey, monster! Your opponent is over here! Yeah, it is a Gatsumon. I know my colors. Go, Koromon! At least one of us should escape! No way! I can't just leave you behind, Takuma! Well, I guess that makes two of us then, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's like the first genuine smile we've seen in ages! Suddenly, I feel like I can do it! Oh, is he gonna ditch you out already? Yes! This really shouldn't still make me as excited as it does, but it's it's so fun. I'm gonna go for it, Takuma. Huh? What are you saying? Just watch, Takuma. I told you I'd protect you, and I mean it. Koromon evolved to. Show me the og. Oh my gosh! It literally has like an evolution screen, like in the show. What? Ah! He's so yellow. I love him. I got an achievement that says, look at me now. Agumon. This is going to be a hard voice for me to do. Jesus. Win condition, Gatsumon defeated. Lost condition, Agumon dies. <laughs> so you're telling me that if I win, Gatsumon's just defeated. But if I lose, Agumon fucking dies? How is that fair? Each battle has its own win condition and loss condition. 
You can also change the difficulty of a battle. So yeah, this is, I feel like this is technically still the prologue. When you're in a fight, you just can't win. You may want to try changing the difficulty. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know. Um, what difficulty am I on right now? Normal. Okay, that should be fine. All right. Start bad. <laughs> Why didn't they write it out all the way? <laughs> it seemed like there was enough room for that. This is a crucial battle, so it would help to exercise some caution. Defending is an important aspect of battle. Oh my god, this makes me so nervous. No, wait, stop. End your turn without attacking or using an item to defend. Defending reduces frontal attack damage by half. Attacks from the side or rear are unaffected. Try defending in this situation. Choose end turn. Uh, okay. Oh, he's got an advantage against me as well. Shit. Right, because of the, the typings. Because data and vaccine. Okay, okay. We'll probably get to that soon too as well. Defending against the enemy's skill reduced its damage by half. Oh, my SP went up. Okay. Not only did this significantly lower the damage you took, it also wasted the opponent's SP. Oh, is the opponent's SP. Since the enemy attacked this turn, it can't defend. Make the most of this opportunity. Unleash a skill now that the enemy is defenseless. Choose the attack command and then select Pepper Breath from the skill list. Yes, I can't wait to say it. All right. Pepper Breath! Ah! <laughs> During battle, it's important to keep attack and defense in mind when you take turns. Oh no, it's leaving it up to me now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Just a normal attack show, I should be fine. Yes, okay. Why am I really acting like this tutorial battle is gonna kill me? I should absolutely be okay. He's almost dead already. Just knowing what this game is about already just makes me nervous. And I can't be nervous going into these battles. I have to be strong. Otherwise, I'm gonna fuck up more. Okay, we did it, obviously. Obviously it was going to be fine. I don't know why. I don't know why I was stressed. Oh, we're level four now. A potency crystal, what the fuck is that? Oh, I can't wait to learn about that. It's gonna be like Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Essence. Oh, a smile! For those curious, yes, this is the Pikachu of Digimon. Incredible. It really beat that monster. And what's with his appearance? This is the same Koromon as before, right? It's just the fact that it's almost word for word from Original Adventure. I love Digimon. As you explore and earn rewards in battle, you will obtain various items and equipment. Equipable items in particular can improve your abilities and let you use skills. Looks like you found an equipable item. Let's try equipping it now. The potency, yes. Items need to be equipped from the status screen, so open the status menu. This screen shows your team members' abilities and equipment plus their evolution level. Press A to see more detailed information on a monster. Okay. Use LB and RB to change categories. Go to equipment. The pause menu also has several other options, including save and load, settings, and field guide. Oh yes, the field guide, which is just the Digimon Pokedex. Be sure to check out all of these menus to really get the most out of the game. I will certainly try. My brain is very bad with menus. Okay, there's the potency crystal. Oh, it just adds attack for both SP and physical. Looks like sparks. Does this affect attacking power somehow? Phew! I was able to win thanks to you, Takuma! <coughs> I've got, got blisters on my blisters. blisters! I sound too much like Mickey Mouse. He's like raspier in the show. You were a beast out there, Koromon. I thought you were crazy to fight that thing, but then you freaking took it out. <laughs> Not Koromon, silly! Right now I'm Agumon! Agumon? I thought you said Koromon. Yup! I was Koromon before! Now I'm Agumon! Okay. I don't really get it. But anyway, you really saved my bacon back there. I owe you one. <laughs> that goes double for me, Takuma! You got me out of a tight spot back there! And I could only evolve thanks to you! Thanks to me? But I didn't do anything. That's not true! I can't explain it, but when I'm with you, I feel all this power swelling up inside of me! Thanks so much, Takuma! Seriously, what the heck's going on here? Beats me! <laughs> right, makes sense. I guess it's my fault for asking you in the first place. Man, everyone's gonna freak out when they see you. Everyone! That's right, I have to go look for them. Everyone? Who's that? Oh, I, I mean all my friends. A weird chain of events brought us to the shrine, see. We all ended up together at one point, but 
a landslide separated us again. If they aren't around here, then maybe they went back to the school already. Hey, Agumon, about that rock monster thing? Is that a friend of yours, or what? No way! Oh, I, I didn't mean like a friend friend, just... First of all, I'd never attack kids the way they do! All I'm asking is how you guys are connected, that's all. Wait, don't tell me there are others out there besides that rock thing. Oh yeah, tons and tons! Big ones, tough ones, ones that fly, fast ones, fuzzy ones, you name it. Of course, there are good ones and bad ones out there too. Tons and tons, you say? I feel a headache coming on. Yeah, fun fact, there's like way more Digimon than there are Pokemon, and not all of them are ever put into one game. There's just- it's just too many. You have a select few every time. So this must mean that they're in the digital world already, right? Maybe something happened back at the shrine? Like, we accidentally broke some sort of seal on the place or something. Yeah, basically. That could have released those bizarre creatures into the world, right? Still, it doesn't feel weird to be with this talking creature. It's almost as if... I've known this little guy for a long, long time. <laughs> so cute. Did the ball do something to my head? Hmm? What's wrong, Takuma? I think we should head back to the school for now. I want to look for my friends along the way. Would you mind helping me, Agumon? Yeah! I'm with you, Takuma! Alright, let's go. Oh no, come on! I thought we were about to make some real progress. That voice. I swear it sounded like Minoru. Oh no, not Minoru! Over by the shrine! I reflexively started running when I heard Minoru cry out. At that point, I hadn't given much thought to the situation I'd found myself in. About the mysterious creature Agumon, or the place I'd wandered into. Who knew things would turn out like this? An adventure with our lives on the line. I couldn't have imagined it back then if I'd tried. Hehehehe! <laughs> well. Part one! Yes! Okay, so yeah, there was still some prologue. We're officially out of the prologue now. Again, immediately I'm so much more nervous. <laughs> <sighs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Are you serious? Why the hell is that rock monster chasing me? Oh, Aoi's here too! Thank goodness. <sighs> Wait! Minoru, I can't breathe! Owie! <laughs> I, I can't even run anymore. That thing's not gonna let up. We're in trouble if it catches us. We have to run. And fast. You saw what it could do, didn't you? We won't get off easy if that thing catches us. B but I can't move. <sighs> we should hide somewhere and wait for help. Hide where? The only place around here is that shrine, where the rock monster is. Oh no, that sound! D damn it, let's go! Bring it! Oh, he's ready to fight now? Minoru, what are you doing? I'll deal with this jerk somehow, so you get going. No, it's too dangerous! Wow, that's the first time we've seen that expression. That's intense. Who knows? Maybe I can handle this g guy on my own. I'll b be a hero. No, don't do it. <gasps> ah! I'm probably wrong, but I don't think I've ever watched an anime where a Falcomon was in it. So I'm tempted to just do like a corruption of a Hawkmon voice, if that's okay with all of you. <laughs> Stop right there. Oh my gosh! And Labramon's here too! I mean, I, of course it is. Same thing for Labramon, so I might just come up with my own voice for her. Stay away from those kids! I don't know how to make it like a dog. Stay away from those kids! That just sounds more like Mickey Mouse. Stay away from those kids! Huh? Ugh! There's more of them now! <laughs> we shan't allow for the wrongdoing from you, you lout! I'll protect you for sure! I can't even with all of these! Oh no. Don't cry, Minoru. <laughs> oh, he's one of those snot bubble kids. Same, buddy. Snot bubble pals. Where are you going, Minoru? Don't run off on your own! No one's 
here. Where are you, Minoru? <laughs> right there. That voice. It's definitely Minoru. No, stay away. Why did it have to be that thing again? Again? Hey, Minoru, answer me. Takuma, I can sense Gatsuman nearby. That rock thing from before? Um, way over there, in that direction. That's near the shrine. Okay, let's hurry over there, Agumon. Wait, Takuma, I sense a whole bunch of Gatsuman over there this time. What? Damn it! Even so, we can't leave Minoru to fend for himself. Let's go. Got it, Takuma. Leave it to me. Shoo! Back off, dang it! Look, over there! Minato is being attacked by Gatsuman! What should we do, Takuma? Oh god, option, okay. Well, save him, obviously. The ho? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Takuma! Of course! I can't just leave my friend to fight those things alone! Let's look for the right time to- Ah, shoot! Another one just showed up! Hiya! Ah, uh, you're- Are you okay, Minoru? That one saved him? Oh, I know him! That's Falcomon! He's not like the bad ones! Now do you believe me? I told you I wasn't your foe! Alright, alright, I'm sorry for doubting you! Just help me out, please! Oh, two of them this time, okay. I see. That one definitely looks like it's on our side. I told you! Falcomon's a good guy! Still... I don't think he's a match for Gatsuman. Can I join the fight, Takuma? Yeah, we can't just stand here and watch. Please, go help him. I like the fight music a lot too. Win condition, all enemies defeated. Loss condition, all annihilated. Start bat. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. Why did they do that? Falcomon can't handle this alone. Support him with Agumon. Better be careful until Agumon arrives. Select and turn. Defend. Move to the blinking square on the grid. All right, let's go. Now we're cooking with fire. Is that how that saying goes? Oh no. I'm not gonna have another one of these saying mishaps again, am I? Now we're cooking with gas. An enemy is in your attack's area. Strike first with a skill. Choose the attack command and select Piper Breath from the skill list. Ooh, am I gonna one-hit K him? Whoa, what's that? Whoa, looks like you got some help from a friend. Oh, you can have, like, backup. In battle, your allies will sometimes come to your aid. This is called battle backup. They can back you up in three different ways. Team attack, encouragement, and support. Team attacks are follow-up attacks on a shared enemy. You must both be adjacent to this foe. Encouragement is when you cheer on an ally, increasing their attack power. Support is when you cheer on an ally, recovering a certain amount of their HP or SP. Yeah, that's, that's a mechanic from the Cyber Sleuth games as well. The likelihood of battle backup occurring depends on both distance and affinity. Backup effects can give you an edge in battle. Try to stick close to your allies. Your affinity will change based on your choices you make in the story and can be crucial in battle. Damn. There's just one enemy left, but its attribute gives an advantage, so this could be tough. Why not get some support from Takuma or the others for this? It should help a lot. First, choose the talk command. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that there was a talk command here in the menu. This will bring up a list of allies in the fight so you can choose who to talk to. You can also see which rally effect you'll get. Each character provides a different effect. Sometimes you can talk to enemies. But it looks like this one isn't having it. Maybe next time. Okay. Yeah, that's the other Persona thing, I believe. You kind of recruit Digimon the way that you recruit Personas in Persona, so... Looking forward to that. Now to cheer on Agumon. Select Agumon from the list. Okay. Here it comes. Get ready to throw down! <laughs> of course! Leave it to me! Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit settled into the Agumon voice. Takuma's words of encouragement have powered up Agumon. Rally effects last for a set number of turns, but only one character can cheer for battle. Words of support from a trusted friend can make a huge difference, turning the tide of battle. Use them at just the right time, and you'll be sure to take down even the mightiest foes. Now that Agumon is all powered up, it's time to blow this enemy away! Alright. Here he comes. If we move all the way up here, we should be able to get him. What effect do we have here? Scratch, smash, pretty low range. It's wind damage. Oh, you know what? You know what I might do? I might unturn so he can block so that Agumon can attack. Yeah, I feel better about that. 
I probably should have moved Falcomon not as close in that case, but whatever. Oh, actually, do I have enough range to get him from here? <gasps> I do! Yes, okay, sweet. Oh no! I guess the farther away, the more likely it is to miss then. Or maybe the rock was in the way, I can't tell. Oh no! That is a lot more HP than I was hoping for. It's because he got me from the side. That's okay, we should be able to take care of him this time. Okay, it looks like another one hit KO. Woohoo! Alright! Getting getting the idea of how these battles go. Definitely gonna make some mistakes before I get good at it, but so far not so bad. And we're level five. Oh, I got a band-aid! Oh man, you really saved my bacon, Takuma! This guy just showed up, so I freaked out and booked it. Then that mini golem showed up. I tried to warn you about the Gotsumon, but you ran from me instead. Come on, man. I already said it was my bad. Wow, Minoru's already getting along so well with him. We became buds in no time, too. Right, Takuma? I wouldn't call it no time. I would. It was pretty fast. Okay, real talk, Takuma. What the heck are these things? That's what I want to know. They're on our side, though. That much is for sure. You saw it for yourself, didn't you? How they protected us? Well, yeah, they sure did. Come on, let's look for Aoi and the others. Yeah. Hmm? Is something wrong, Midoru? Aw, new sprite for him. He feels bad for abandoning her, huh? Uh, well, it's just... I was with Aoi before, but then Falcomon spooked me, and I just... I took off at full speed and left Aoi behind. What? You left her behind? I just freaked out, man! I'm sorry! This is bad. Which way is she? There must be other monsters out there besides Gatsumon. Yeah! Let's go! Oh! This keeps happening. They keep finding us right as we're about to find them. So what's the point of talking about how we need to go find them if they're just gonna run into us, huh, script? Reunited and it feels so good. Oh, thank goodness. There you are, Minoru. And Takuma, too. Owie! It's you! It's good to see you're safe. Ooh, where did you run off to, Minoru? I was worried sick about you. She was worried about him. Oh. Yeah, uh, about that. I'm like, real sorry, okay? I won't look so lame in front of you again. I'll run in all heroic and save the day. Right back to the hero talk. Just don't give me a reason to worry again, okay? Minoru's relieved to see Aoi safe and sound. He's back to his wisecracking self. To be honest, I'm happy that Aoi seems more annoyed than angry. <laughs> Sorry it isn't going to cut it! How dare you run off and leave a lady behind like that! Another one of them? Wait, this one seems... Oh, don't worry. This one is nothing to fear. This sweet little puppy saved me when one of those things was getting ready to pounce. Yeah! I'm gonna protect Aoi! Don't worry. Labramon's a good girl. <laughs> I've known her forever. Good to meet you all. Oh no! You've been injured! Me or the dog? The dog, okay. Oh, we tied a handkerchief around Labramon. Aww. Look at how close they are already. I wonder what they think about all this. Mmm, sorry, Aoi. I've been favoring you a little too hard. Hmm? Is it my imagination, or does Minoru look a bit down in the dumps? He's still self-conscious. Yay! Finally our first heart with Minoru. I can't believe it. Leaving a girl to fend for herself. I've got a lot to learn before I can be a hero. Minoru? Well, what's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. We have to head back to the school. Not that I have any idea where we are. Hey, are you sure this place was here before? The terrain looks totally different to me. Really? You think so? I don't see that tunnel we entered before, do you? Hey, Agumon. And you, Falcomon. Do you know this area well? We sure do! Ask anything you'd like to know. How do we get back to the school building? School building? Um, it's like a two-story building made of wood. Humans spend time there? Oh, I've seen something like that. 
Really? Yeah! It's got a big old wooden building! And a wide open space! The schoolyard! That's gotta be it! Where did you see it? Um... Where was it again? I do believe I know the location. I shall guide you there. Thanks. We'll leave it to you. Oh wow, there it is! I thought that it was gonna lead to some hijinks, but I guess it really is still there, huh? Are, do we care at all about Ryo and Saki and Miu and Kaito? Like, <laughs> what the heck? How's your leg, Labramon? Thanks, I'm okay, I swear! Looks like we made it back. We'd better hurry up there before the sun sets. You know, I just don't get it. Get what, Aoi? I tried my phone several times while we were on the move. But there's no service in the entire area. No phone service, no data. Not even this close to the school building. You're right. GPS, maps. Heck, even my compass app won't work. Same here. This thing's basically a glorified camera now. And hey, did you realize? We didn't pass through the tunnel to get back here. Hmm. You're right. I didn't think of it with the GPS out, but did we take a different path? Hmm, I see you are confused, but I assure you that there are no other buildings in the area. I admit it's weird, but at least we're here. Let's head into the school building. Great, we made it back before sunset. Oh, how gorgeous. This is your, uh, school, Takuma? Not exactly. I go to a different school. This is just the one we're staying in for camp. Still, I guess a school is a school. But what is a school, Takuma? Oh, uh... What is a school, anyway? <laughs> I don't think it's that hard to explain. I mean... I do want to bond with my little Mon. I, I kind of want to tell him what's up. I know first aid is also important, but like... I think we've got a handle on it. I'm becoming quite moral, it seems. We go there to study, go to class, take tests. The whole shebang. Class? Tez? She bang? What the heck is all that? Yes, yes, I'll give you a rundown on all of it later, okay? Right now we'd better take care of Labramon. Let's head on inside. Wait. What? N no one's here. And that's not even the weirdest part. Would you just look at this place? Yeah, it's all run down. Just like all the stuff in the digital world. <laughs> yeah. Why is everything all so messed up? You think a huge earthquake tore through this place while we were all passed out? Oh, you passed out too, Minoru. Yeah, and Aoi too. I wonder how long we were out. It couldn't have been more than an hour for me. That sounds about the same as us, I think. According to my phone's clock, that seems about right. The date hasn't changed either. I love this sprite so much. Look at her. Darling. This is my favorite of her so far. Even if it can't connect to the network, the time should still be right. Then how come this place is so overgrown? Good point. This doesn't look like it was destroyed. More like it fell apart over time. I admit I am curious. But Labramon's wound takes higher priority now. Let's go inside. I hope the others are in here because I'm worried and I'm a little bit upset that no one else is worried about them. I know they don't know them very well, but come on. Ooh, a change of scenery feels nice. We were in that forest for a good minute. Yuck. I thought it looked bad from the outside. Try not to fall through the floor, okay? Yeah, I could see that happening. Everyone, watch your step. Oh god. Labramon, what is it? Are you okay? Oh no! Oh, poor baby! Labramon! Labramon! Are you okay? Labramon fell down wincing. It looks like she was putting up with the pain all this time. Oh no, now I feel bad. I'll go look for the first aid kit. I bet there's one in the nurse's office. Hold on, Labramon. We'll fix you right up. Hey, you too. Something's not right. I decided to check the first aid kit, you see. With the school all messed up like this, I wondered, is the medicine even still good? Oh yeah, that's true. The thing is, the bandages still look clean, and the disinfectant seems okay. It looks all brand new to me. 
Something isn't right, but at least we can use it. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm just so like... <laughs> Just pops back up. <laughs> I don't know why that's tickling me. Okay, how's this Labramon? All the little sparkles. Wow, this is perfect! Thank you so much, Owie! Oh, I just don't get it! For a second there, I thought we'd travel through time or something. You're not that wrong. Like, you're wrong, but like... Th that's definitely the most valid thought to have in this situation, that's for sure. We didn't get in a time machine, and this first aid kit looks brand spanking new. Only the building itself is weathered to hell. This makes no sense. What in the world happened here? Do you guys know anything, Agumon? Uh, I don't know what you mean. It's always been like this around here, right? Always? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, but it is as Agumon says. This area has been this way forever, from the moment we were all born into this world. We cannot grasp what you find dubious about all of this. Forever, he says? But that's impossible. The school looked normal before. Isn't this the same school building? If not, then what is this place? Finally, God. <laughs> hey, that was Rio's voice. He's here too? I'm pretty sure that came from the second floor. Okay, it's zero time! <laughs> Minoru? I won't run away this time! I'm gonna go and save Ryo! Good! Then allow me to offer my assistance! Let's go, Aoi! I'll keep you safe! Thank you, Labramon. But don't push yourself too hard. We only just finished treating you. Where are they? In one of the classrooms, maybe? This way, Takuma! Yeah, it definitely came from a classroom. Maybe the one from the title screen. I wonder if that's gonna be like their safe room or something. Hi! Oh man, that perspective was really good. Really well animated. Uh, hold up! What the heck is this? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
So many more people to talk to this time as well. I want to talk to Kunaimon. We know nothing about the little guy. Kill. Oh, um, hello? Kill, kill. Can he not talk? Stop. Uh, yeah, what you said. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so... Oh my god, that would be huge. Talk to a little Agumon. Takuma, Takuma, what's that thin thing you have? It's a smartphone. It can make phone calls, surf the web, take pictures, you name it. Wow! Let me see! Let me see! No, no, no way! Those claws of yours will slice it to pieces! Oh. <laughs> I'm glad that this game is making me laugh. This type of humor um, is usually a big miss for me. Even though I really like this genre, I'm not normally, like, laughing. But there's some funny stuff. There is. I don't get you guys. How can you hang out with these things like it's nothing? I don't have a good answer for that. <laughs> I wigged out the first time, but they're good guys. You just gotta get used to them. The heck you mean, good guys? Kill? Well, uh, if you say so, I can kinda... Kill, kill! Uh... Don't just come at me like that! Can he understand him? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is gonna be the best partner dynamic that we've had in ages. Oh my god. That's one thing I've always really loved about Digimon is how their partners are almost opposites of who their, um, tamer, I guess, is the word, is. Sometimes, sometimes they're similar to them. Like, Palmon and Mimi are a lot alike. You know, but most everyone's partners are more like their narrative foil, in a way. Like, very different on the surface, but once you look really close, like, are a perfect match. Okay. Camera time! Oh, I think I can kind of see... I saw, like, a face or something. Is that Aoi? Or is it... It looks like it might be Aoi. That's weird. I wonder if that's on purpose. I'm sure they're just trying to make it glitch weird, but... Whoa! Yikes, that's a lot of web! Peter Parker, you need to reel yourself in. Is there like a Dokugumon here or something? Is this our first champion fight? Oh boy! Oh jeez! Takuma, my man! Let's make like a bread truck and haul buns! I've never heard that one before. That's a good one. Whoa! Yow! Damn, Ryo, stop screaming like that out of nowhere! You scared me silly! Huh? Wait, where's Aoi? It's Aoi! She's gone! This can't be happening! Aoi! Aoi's missing? But she was here just a second ago! The spider got her, the spider got her, the spider got her, oh my god. Uh, uh! It was the monster! The monster? Yeah, yeah, that's right. She was abducted by that mysterious monster! Honest! It all happened in the blink of an eye, but I saw it snatch her and then disappear. I saw it! I saw it, I tell ya! The camera's picking up spider webs, right? That'd mean we're trapped in one big nest. You think we're gonna be its next meal? Oh, and after we finally got to meet, and she even fixed me up! Owie! Oh, Owie! What are we gonna do, Takuma? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Get the hell out of here, of course! What are you saying? You just wanna up and leave Owie in the lurch? We all have to split up and look for her! I'm worried about Owie too, but are we gonna explore the den of an unseen enemy? What should we do? No colors here, huh? Great. Mm, I don't want to spend too much time and have her get hurt. But I also don't want to rush into things and get someone hurt. I think we should just save her. Let's see what happens. Thank you all. Okay, let's all go our separate ways. Yeah, we'll get Aoi back for sure. Why is her name in red? Why is her name in red? Why the fuck is her name in red? It probably just means that she's the prerogative or whatever. Okay, we unlocked a bunch of floors in the school. Awesome. So, ooh, yeah, let's go to the bathroom first. You know that that's where all the creepy stuff happens. Oh, and free battle, too. 
Oh, this is awesome. We're really starting to like unlock the real parts of the game now. You've unlocked free battle on your map. You can do battle here in this strange place where monsters gather. This allows you to gain items and experience as well as recruit monsters for your team. The enemies that appear in free battle will change based on story progress. It's a crucial place to improve your combat ability. Train up here before a big fight. Why not get some experience with it now? Select free battle from the list of locations. Yeah, that's a good idea, but when we start actually looking, when we're strong enough to look, we'll start with the bathroom. Look at all of our Digimon all lined up in a row! You can talk to enemies in free battle, which is a good way to gain items, allies, and more. To do so, you'll need to navigate a conversation and improve the monster's mood. Let's give it a try. Choose the talk command. Let's see if we can uh, recruit a Betamon then. Switch to the enemies tab using LB or RB. This will bring up a list of enemies. Try talking to Betamon. It seems reasonable. If your friend was off causing trouble, how would you deal with it? Oh my gosh, this is like literally exactly the Persona mechanic. <laughs> this is literally exactly the Persona 5 mechanic. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. That, wow. Now I understand the comparison 100%. Conversations with enemies involve choosing answers to their questions. Your opponent will ask three questions. Choose answers you think they'll be receptive to. Oh, it's only letting me choose one. Okay, well. I see, it looks like we're kindred spirits. Answering well will appeal to the monster and it will slowly open up to you. Different enemies have different preferences, so keep trying until you figure them out. This is kind of the perfect mechanic for a Digimon game. This like makes so much sense for Digimon, I feel like almost more than Persona. Cause these really are like your little friends. How do clouds in the sky look to you? What would you do if someone told you an idea you believed in was incorrect? What do you want from me? Yay, we did it. Not that there was a way to not do it. Betamon seems to have opened up to you. It's asking what you want from it. Right now, you need all the allies you can get. Select be my friend. Oh, that's a pretty low success rate actually. You are worthy of my allegiance. Our first recruit, our first new Digimon. This is gonna be such an addictive <laughs> gameplay mechanic. I'm gonna be getting so many besties. Now you have a new ally and you've bolstered your numbers while lowering the enemies. Even if a monster opens up to you though, it may not always join your team. The stronger the enemy, the more difficult it will be to recruit. Other options always work. You may need to try multiple times to get a monster you really like on your team. That's fair. I've been trained for this. I played Persona 5 twice. It's a virus, so I should use one of the vaccine Digimon to attack it. I think Agumon's probably the highest level, so we'll go with that. Although fire is probably gonna be weak toward it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh! Aminoro assist right off the bat. Very helpful. Nice. Barely even grazed me. We'll be done with this in no time. And he's sideways, so this should do extra damage. Yeah, alright. There's a lot going on, but it's definitely not as complicated as it originally seems. For the amount of tutorial that there is, it's making a lot of sense to me so far. <laughs> Cure liqueur. I've never heard of that move before. It's such a cute name. So Aoi's our healer then, it seems. Just do a normal attack and take him out that way. Oh, okay, actually everyone's about level five right now. I'll have less trepidation having the others attack moving forward. I'm starting to like actually enjoy the gameplay now. It's wonderful. Let's see if we can get them up to like level seven or something. That's probably, probably a good bet. Ah, this is like the first battle I'm doing like completely on my own. Whoa, you can like set everything up. I'm just putting all the best characters in the front, don't mind me. We have our little Betamon friend that we just recruited. Look at him. So adorable. Oh no, enemies get assists too. I don't know what I expected. Pretty good for my very first battle all in my lonesome. <gasps> Some Gatsumons! Okay, we have to recruit one. Go on, try guessing what I think of ya. That I'm trouble. Oh no, he didn't like that. I don't get you, man. Boy, you're a tough looking mug, aren't you? I bet I'd lose if we threw down. Okay, we still got a chance. Have more confidence. Oh, he liked that, okay. Huh, I get the feeling we're on the same page. I don't feel so good. Someone help. Pfft, ha ha ha, just kidding. Did I get you? So we reached the arrow, does that mean that that's good enough to recruit him? So, what's the word? 
Come on, spit it out! Yeah, okay. Well, that success rate is really good! Fine, fine, I'll go along with you. Yes! I'm already crushing it. <gasps> Gazumon! Another recruit, another recruit, another recruit. Okay, so I think it has the same personality type as the Gatsumon we just got. So I think if I do the same answers, it should be good. Oh, that's a low success rate again. Please, 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 please. Aw, oh, man, come on. Well, L. <laughs> we still won, though. <laughs> oh, we have one level seven. Okay, almost there. Clopper <laughs> <laughs> He's so buff. Obsessed. Obsessed with him. Like this video if you would go to the gym with him. Gotta work out those eye muscles so you can see in the dark better. Oh my gosh, they're all beating up on Agumon. No! Oh, he's dizzy! No! Oh my god, please don't kill my boy. <gasps> no! What does this mean? Is he gonna be okay? I like the way that they just... Fly to the left! Slide to the right. Out of the way whenever a friend moves past them. <laughs> Big fan of all the sliding going on with these sprites. Let's do one more battle so we can get Labramon and Gatsumon up. And then I think we're ready to continue. Let's check out the toilet like I promised. Is Aoi around here? Just an Agumon, it seems. I don't see Aoi anywhere around here. Let's go check next door. What? But that's the girl's room. Oh no, what'll we ever do? Oh! I think I found something, Takuma! Oh, bandages! Oh yeah? You think it's safe to use things we find around here? Well, it doesn't look dirty or anything. I'll hold on to it for now. Thanks, Akumon. You're very welcome! Alright, so nothing really in there. Let's go to the classroom where... Ryo and Kunemon still are. So! This is where you went, Ryo! Since when are we on a first-name basis? Now, now, let's all get along, shall we? Play nice. And I bet Kunemon will make a great partner for you. Oh, they're blushing! So, um, with all due respect, Ryo, are you... trembling? Shut up! It's weird when you get polite like that all of a sudden. You're just making fun of me, like that Minoru. So say whatever you want. See if I care. Oh, yeah, weren't you with Minoru? Also, an amazing new portrait. Yeah, up until a second ago. <laughs> I bet he ditched me. Kill. Let's raise his spirits! Of course, oh my god! Come on, man. Don't be like that. Here, let's all go back together. Safe and sound, you know? <gasps> Oh, <laughs> he smiled for one second. I saw it. It's way safer to stay here than wander around like a jerk. Kill, kill. Kunemon says, I'll protect him if anything happens. You can understand it? Uh, kinda? <laughs> kill, kill. I see. Then it's all good, I guess. Give a shout if anything happens, okay? Kill, kill. Um. Sorry, I don't have a clue what you're saying. Just look after Rio, would you? Kill! <laughs> Stop! Bug-type Digimon are the best Digimon, and no one will ever change my mind. Like, look at that. Alright, this is where the progression is, so hopefully this will take us there. There was Minoru. I should talk to him. <laughs> Wait, what? This ain't good Takuma. The door to the outside won't open! Ooh, we're locked in? Well, we're probably webbed in, based on how much there is. <laughs> Curses! Even my strength is not enough to budget! This means someone, or something, has locked us in here! The monster that took Aoi, you think? Yeep! <laughs> you okay, Minoru? Your face... Takuma... Behind you! Huh? Behind me? <laughs> the slow turn! <laughs> oh! He's like a full on ghost! Did you see his eyes? Why were they like that? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Chill out, Minoru. 
It's gone now, whatever it was. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, you don't think it was the... The Oost gay? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they said gay in Digimon. Not sure. Should we check it out? Uh, it went up to the second floor. Come on, Agumon. Alright, if you say so. There's Ryo. I should talk to him. What the hell? What the hell, man? Q! Oh no! They're so scared. It must be a Dokugumon and not like an Arukenimon or something, right? Because I'm pretty sure Kunemon uh, evolves into Dokugumon or something, right? What's wrong, Ryo? Did something happen? A ghost. I saw a freaking ghost! Yeah, I saw it too. Still, we don't know if it's really a ghost yet. Of course that thing's a freaking ghost! That girl wasn't among the living! Oh, so he saw the sister! A girl? But the one I saw was a boy. You're kidding me. I really thought that that was gonna be Welcome to the Black Parade, <laughs> and I almost screamed. This is the opening theme song, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> he fucking fainted. Listen, it's not that bad. She's trying. It sounds pretty good to me. What's that sound? It's kind of nice. See, me and Agumon are on the same page. We should support her interests. Is it coming from the music room? I want to go check it out, but Ryu's gone and passed out. Is it okay to leave him here? Kill! Kunemon says he'll look after him. Cool. He's all yours then. Let's go to the music room, Agumon. This is so exciting! This is so delightful! Can I get inside the music room? Man, there are too many webs on this door. I doubt we'll be able to open it. Still, that piano is definitely coming from inside. Someone has to be in there. Hmm. What do you think we should do, Agumon? <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, Takuma. Not even my claws will work here. I scratched the door. That scared me. I thought it attacked me. Should I just go ahead and try to call out to them? Man, I don't know. Don't give the option to me. Oh, okay, they didn't. Good. Hey, is anybody in there? If there is... Please respond! No response. In fact, it's dead silent in there. Don't tell me it's actually a ghost. Uh, at any rate, it doesn't look like we can get in here. Let's go someplace else. No! What if she- <sighs> Fine. A lot of going in circles. Oh, he's in there! I can feel it! Really? No doubt about it. I'd never mistake her presence for someone else. Okay, so we know she's in there at least. Hold on, Aoi. We're coming to save you. Damn, the door won't budge. Well, yeah, no shit. This has even more spider webs than the last one. What did you expect? What do I do? What do I do? She's just on the other side of this, and yet... I have to protect her. Why can't I protect her? We'll talk to her, of course. It'll be okay, Labramon. If we work together, we'll definitely rescue her. But, but how? We can't get past this door! Well, the enemy has to get out of there, so maybe there's another path. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. There must be another way in. I'll try and sniff it out. Uh, oh, wait, Labramon, all your textures showed for a minute there. Well, what the fuck was that? Was that my phone? Huh, I got a message. But how? I, I thought the camera was the only thing working. Ooh. What the? This doesn't make any sense. It's just a string of random symbols. Something wrong, Takuma? Uh, nope. Just forget about it. Why would- Let's go look too, Agumon. Way ahead of you! What 14-year-old says perish the thought? <laughs> it's a good saying, though. We should bring it back. Not that it ever left. I just don't hear it a lot. Okay, this desk has an exclamation point on it. Sorry, Takuma. I thought I'd find some kind of clue, but no luck. Comfort her gently. 
Calm down now. Let's try looking again. If we give up here, we won't be able to save Aoi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I won't give up. Hmm? Who's that child? <gasps> Ghost is back. Ghost is back. What are you talking about, Labramon? There's a child walking in that hallway over there. Hold up. Is that the ghost from before? There's a dead end up there. Let's go. Uh, ow! Oh no, her injury. It's acting up. Don't push yourself with that injury. The two of us will go. Yeah! <gasps> it is in the bathroom. What did I say? They're being too good to me. <laughs> no one here, but this is the only place she could have gone. There's just gotta be a clue around here. I'll take a look around. Maybe in the locker? Oh! A hatch in the ceiling! I'm getting tell me why flashbacks. Oh! Look, we did it, Agumon! Now we can get into the crawl space. Did she go through here? That means she can't be a ghost. I want to go through here, but... Hmm. Do you think it's safe? The enemy's been using this crawl space too, after all. We don't have time to look for another way. Things will just get worse. Yeah, you're right. Yuck, there's tons of cobwebs here too. Still no way through but forward. We're in the music room. What the fuck, Agumon? They have the trombone guys here. It's a really fucked up video game. Someone's here, Takuma! Whoa! Is it the ghost? There they are! Oh, but their eyes are normal this time. That's a little disappointing. Oh, I don't remember what voices I really gave them. It was kind of Minoru and Aoi, but higher? Guess you found us. Are you... human? Maybe they're not dead at all. Maybe they've just been here in the digital world this whole time. Which would make sense. Well, he's talking, and I can't see through him. Guess that rules out the ghost theory. Yay! Still, they don't exactly feel like normal people to me either. What gives? Skin deathly pale against the moonlight, faces without expression? They look... unreal. What's their deal? You should leave the school quickly. You must not provoke them. Oh, that's a new expression. Are you talking about the monster? Yeah, it hunts you down. You guys won't be able to even resist. There's something in his words, even if he is a kid. Is the enemy that strong? Well, I know one thing for sure. We can't just leave. Our friends have been taken. I have to save them, no matter what. If you know anything, would you please tell us? Hmm? What is it? That girl is gesturing to the boy? <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you about them. Really? My sister told me to, so... Sister? So these two are siblings? You're being preyed on by a giant spider. It suddenly took over this place a while back. Oh, that must be Dokugumon! I hate that guy! I'm too good at this. Where's my award, honestly? It's Dennis in the gym, but the whole place is gummed up with webs. Yeah, we couldn't get in there. It moves in the crawl space and under the floors to get around the school. There's a secret passage to the roots it uses under the cafeteria. Go look for it. Oh, the cafeteria, huh? Thanks so much for telling us. That thing doesn't kill its prey right after abducting them. But it sucks the life from its prey for sustenance. So over time, they weaken and die. Die? Hearing someone else say it really makes it hit home. If you want to save them, I wouldn't waste time. Okay. Got it. Be careful. It won't give up its prey without a fight. Is he worried about us? Will you two be okay? Are you two going to be okay on your own? We'll be fine. We've been in the school long before it came, so we know where to hide. We're gonna go. Thanks again for your help. Alright, here we are. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if it's so much of a passage than just a fucking hole in the floor. Minoru! Ryo! Look at this! Now we can go save Aoi! Once we get through here, we'll have to fight a monster. Is everybody ready? Of course, Takuma! Heh! 
Does a bear poop in the woods? That's the second time you said that. Is this, like, his catchphrase? That's a very interesting catchphrase. Onward to battle! Hey, I'm going too. You ain't gonna leave me here by my lonesome, are ya? Keely! <laughs> Hold on, Owie! We're coming! This is really just Resident Evil 7. I'm expecting that woman with her long neck to come down here. It's like being in some huge beast's belly. It's giving me a sense of revulsion. I detect squirming in the silence, like prey being melted bit by bit in gastric juices. Ew! <laughs> Nasty. This really is the monster's den. Oh no! She's all tied up! Look! There's Owie! Owie! This is bad! She really got caught! <laughs> I'm still alive? <laughs> He's just worried about himself. Kill! Falter not, you two! You could learn from Kunemon's fighting spirit! Is she okay? Damn! I can't tell from here! We have to hurry up and rescue her. But how exactly? Here he is! <laughs> so big and scary. Yeek! Whoa! Whoa! It's here! And it's even bigger than I thought! This... This is Dokugumon. Are you scared, Takuma? Yeah. But we still have to fight! Let's go, everyone! Okay, so I feel like this is actually for real, like, the first major consequences thing. I know I keep getting nervous that it is going to be that, but this, I feel like, is for sure it. So, we gotta, we gotta be vigilant here. Betamon is the highest level, but I... I feel like it's gonna be better to use our actual teammates here. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Yeah, okay, let's go. Final stretch here. Okay, so the last condition is Agumon or Labramon dying. Or, so if either of them die, then I'm screwed. That sucks. So I'm gonna have to count on these two to really figure it out. There's two of them? Oh, come on, how's that fair? Oh my god, there's three of them. No. Can I check and see what level they are? Level one, level two, okay. And level five, okay, we can totally do this. We're over leveled for this, we can do this. Oh my god, there's four. Fuck! Can we talk to these guys? Or our bosses? Yeah, okay. I thought as much. Venom Blast. How much damage is this gonna do? Not a lot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, that does about half health. Like that for me. Whoa! Oh, I forgot about the countering! So many things to keep track of. Pepper Breath should do a lot of damage because of fire. Yes! Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Dokugumon's eyes look like a bunch of peas. Is that just me? The old pea eye. Hmm. Okay, I should start healing if I can. Should get Labramon back over to everybody. Okay, I can kill this one. I really hope it doesn't summon more after I've killed these. Okay, bring her over this way. Curlicur does not reach. We do have all the bandages though. It's about the same, okay. All right, last mini boss down. Does that mean the big boy's gonna start moving around? Okay, I'll heal myself. How much damage do you do? Oof. Quite a bit more. Okay, well, if we can bring Labramon over here, we can probably at least heal Agumon <laughs> or not. We'll use a bandage instead. Are we in range to get him from here? No, we are not. Oh, there's an item though. Let's do that. I did not mean to use pepper breath on that. Fuck, I just w wasted a bunch of, bunch of stuff. A guard break? What the hell is that? It looks like the map from Treasure Planet. <laughs> and I want a moment to be real. Wanna touch things I don't feel. Wanna hold on? I 
feel that I belong. Oh, we gotta move up to do that. Ah! I'm scared for, for Falcomon here. If Falcomon dies, it's okay, though. We just need to worry about- It was a miss! Oh, no. This is very, very bad. Oh, my- Oh, my God. No! This is not looking good for me! Can I, like, revive him somehow? That's probably a late game thing, huh? <laughs> I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Come on, Agumon. Do some good damage to him. It's still not a lot. At least he actually hit him. I think I might need um, a stat boost from my friend here. I'm glad I remembered that. Oh wow, that attack boost helps so much! <gasps> Look at that damage! Okay, we might be able to do this. Wait, what happened? What's going on? What is this? Hopefully this is a good thing. Ugh. That scream paralyzed me. It's strong. Way different from the others we fought. Yeah. Oh, you know what this is? You want to know what this is? Agumon's going to digivolve. Agumon's going to digivolve into Greymon. Duh. What else could it be? You guys who don't know Digimon, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. Oh no, not another little one. Not a bunch of other little ones. I hope these uh, are not actually there when we resume fighting. Uh, whoa! Agumon? We're surrounded. We're done for at this rate. Oh no. Are we gonna die here? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Uh, uh. Agumon and the others are having a hard time. What can a kid like me do? Yeah. There's no way I could beat that thing. Maybe I should hide and wait it out. Or maybe I should just run away? Takuma! Pull yourself together, Takuma! Is it okay for everything to end here? After all that we've done to come this far... Everything... end here? All of our struggles up to now? No way. We can't let it end in a place like this. All of our lives are on the line, not just mine. This isn't the end for them, either. I'll rescue my captured friends. I swear it! All of us want to save Aoi. We have to do everything we can. Let's go, Agumon. We'll get her back, no matter what. That feeling of yours, it's making me... Yeah! <laughs> Not very epic with this goofy voice. What's wrong, Agumon? You look... I know we're in trouble here, but somehow, I'm bursting with energy. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not a gray man? <gasps> it's a Tyrell man this time! Oh my god, that's even better. That's even better. That's even better. I wasn't ready. I warned you guys, I wasn't the one who was ready. Oh! <laughs> Of course he has a different evolution! That's so nice! It matches his color scheme better, too. See that, Takuma? I'm doing my best! Just leave it to good old Tyranomon! Tyranomon? I know, I'm shocked too! Okay, this is gonna help a lot. There's no way we can lose this way. That's great. So, it looks like I can digivolve him into whatever I want whenever I want once I unlock them. Which is honestly how the game should have always been. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm so mad that these two that showed up are actually here now. It's so irritating. All right, let's kill him. Ah, what a relief. Okay, we did it. We can definitely take these other two down. Yes. Okay, you think we can take him out with this last fire blast? I think so. And we're up to level 10. Perfect. Perfect. That's a perfect place to end it off. Definitely, listen, that was easy, but I was understandably harrowed. Definitely the scariest thing we've done so far. I'm valid in my fear. That was some enemy. But you and Labramon did a great job, Agumon. The spider webs are vanishing before our eyes. Is it because we beat Dokugumon? What about Aoi? You're right. We can't just be standing around. Aoi, are you okay? Hey. She doesn't look good. You think she's... No way. Enough yapping. You got time to talk? Then help us out here, man. Cute. Owie! Owie, say something! Uh, Lab... 
Akraman? You... you saved me. Thank God she's okay. Thank you so much. This is the second time. Takuma, Agumon, thank you for fighting with me. You rescued me, didn't you, Takuma? Standing up to such a frightening creature. Aww. Thank you, truly. You've become so reliable, haven't you? Her little blush. I couldn't do it alone. Labramon and Agumon were right there with me. Agumon was amazing! That sudden spike in power was just incredible! Oh yeah, about that. That's the second time you've changed shape. What the heck is that? Oh, yeah! I got no clue! <laughs> if my ears didn't deceive me, I believe Agumon was able to evolve. Evolving, huh? You have any idea how you pulled that off, Agumon? I really don't! But if I had to guess... Takuma's feelings must have flowed into me! I wanted to live up to Takuma's feelings! That's what made me evolve! Seems like the source of this power is the bond you share. That makes you partners. Partners! I like the sound of that! Okay, should we get out of here? Everyone must be exhausted. I know I am, oh my god. Back to the classroom. Now then, we put the beat down on that humongous spider thing. And all the spider webs have disappeared. Webs aren't supposed to do that. Guess the stuff spun by that mutant ain't normal, huh? Dokugumon's not the only weird thing. Something about the school isn't right. It ain't just the school. There's no way the area outside should have changed like that. Where the heck are we? Hmm. All of this warrants contemplation, but perhaps we should retire for the day. I agree. Good idea. Let's call it a day, guys. Say what? We're gonna sleep here? I admit it bothers me too, but today has done a number on us. I'm too tired to even move. Yeah, think about her, why don't you? Going outside in the dark would be too dangerous. Other creatures may be out there. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, we don't got anywhere else to go. I'm not in love with the idea, but I guess we're bunking here for the night. You've gotta be kidding. This place is haunted, right? I can't freaking sleep here! You guys saw them too, right? The ghosts? Oh, whoops. I forgot about those kids from the music room. Yeah, can you tell him that they're not ghosts so that he doesn't flip out? Um, about that. Uh, um, 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 it's behind you! Look behind you! Huh? Hi! Oh. Ah! That was my best impression of everyone screaming at once. Sorry, my voice is really tired. When they saw those two for the first time, they screamed and fell to the floor. Seeing two ghosts right after that tense situation, of course they'd be shocked. I quickly explained everything, but they were still shaken up. Aoi in particular. You must explain such crucial matters properly. Boy, was she pissed. <laughs> Seeing the normally calm girl erupt in anger showed just how scared she was. Well, uh... At any rate, everyone's safe. That's good, right? I might have said this back then, but I was gripped by unease and doubt. Where in the world are we? The others with us? Saki, Shuji, Kaito, Miu, and the Professor. Are they safe? Agumon, Falcomon, and the rest? What are they? How is that ghostly pair... Haru and Miyuki survived in this world. Nothing but questions since I woke up. Even the situation we're in is a mystery. Could we even get back to where we were in one piece? At that moment, as if feeling my concern, Agumon called out to me. It's okay, Takuma. I'll protect you! Agumon's kind words. His pledge to protect me in this potentially fatal situation. When I heard them... I felt relief from the bottom of my heart. Aww. That's so sweet. What a lovely ending to all this. Oh wow, we already made it all the way through part one. We're on we're gonna do part two next time. Not too much happened this time, mostly just saving Aoi. So hopefully it was still entertaining nonetheless. Kunemon is the new best character. Excited to go back and see the rest of my faves. <laughs> but yeah, I I really, I really am just as exhausted as the characters were. So, short outro today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time, my little raindrops. Bye!